In this video, we're going to be replacing the vapor canister purge solenoid valve on this 2015 Hyundai Sonata. We're going to take out these panel clips there. They're just a Phillips head. If you use the weight of the Phillips itself and spin these out, they should back out. If you push down while you're taking these out, they won't come out. Now with a panel tool, we can pop these clips out. All right, so now what you can do is grab your air intake tube from right about here, lift your front up to get over the front valance plastic, and pull it straight out. Might have to wiggle it a little bit, out of your intake box. And what you're doing is working out this gasket here out of your intake box here. Now that that's out, we can set that aside. To remove your battery, we're going to start with the negative terminal. It's going to be a 10 millimeter socket. Loosen that up. Pull that off and set it aside. Your positive terminal is going to be underneath this cover here. We're going to press back this tab to reveal our positive terminal. What we're going to disconnect is this one right here in front of our post. It's going to be a 10 millimeter. Now this whole section, this whole plastic assembly is going to come up and off of that post. At this point, you can close your lid, make it a little easier to work with, and set that whole assembly down into that void there. Now if your vehicle is like ours and it's still factory, you'll have a battery hold down that clamps on to the bottom lip of your battery. This one's going to be a 12 millimeter socket. We'll take that out now. There's our clamp. Set that aside for right now. Now your battery is free. At this point, we can lift it right up and out of the vehicle. Okay, now that you've got your battery out and your intake tube out, we have access to get to our hose clamp on our intake to our throttle body. It's gonna be a 10 millimeter socket. We'll loosen that up. Okay, we're going to do the same up top here. It's going to be another 10 mil. While we're in this area, we see a hose here with a hose clamp on it with a pair of needle nose. We're just going to move that and grab that hose clamp. And move that out of the way. We're actually going to remove this engine cover to make it a little bit easier to see. Just going to grab our engine cover in the front, lift straight up, and the back, straight up. And we can set this aside. This hose here is attached to our tube. We're going to remove this hose. So we have our hose clamp moved out of the way. I'm just going to take and spin that hose right off. We can set that hose out of the way. Now we can work this off a little bit easier. We can set that aside. Now what we're going to do is start to remove our hose clamps off of our valve here. You can take it off back here, or you can take it off up the front here. We're going to start as close to the valve as possible. And now from here, what we're going to do is 
remove our electrical connection. All right, so the electrical connection tab on the back, they're actually gonna, I'm using a pick tool for this or a small pocket screwdriver, whatever you can use. I'm actually gonna have to pull that tab upwards and off of the lock that's in there. All right, so instead of pushing it down, you can push down the back or you can get in from the front and pull up the front and then just slide that right off. At this point, there's a metal bracket in the back here that this is slid down onto. What I'm gonna do is remove this top hose here, which you do not have to do, just doing that to give a little bit more visual access. And remove that hose clamp, move that out of the way. So with this hose removed, we can see this plug here, or this metal clip here that we're trying to remove it from. What I'm gonna do is actually go a step beyond what we need to do. There's a 12 millimeter bolt directly underneath this bolt here. It's connected to this metal bracket. So to make this a little bit easier to work on, just go ahead and take that bracket right out. Remove our hoses. Okay. So here is our purge valve. Here is the bracket that we removed. Because it's out of the vehicle now, it's gonna be a little bit easier to get your bracket off of the valve. If you can do this in the vehicle, you do not need to remove your bracket. We decided to do this to show you how you would go about removing your bracket if it was being a little difficult. For us, what we found here is a pair of long bent needle nose pliers. What you want to do ultimately is push the top of this bracket back through this rubber here. All right, so we're going to use our needle nose pliers and just work to push that metal bracket backwards. And if you need to get in from the back to work it out, can come in from the side here. There you go. So what you're looking at is a little bit of a, a T or a little lip here on each side that's holding it in to this rubber. You're just going to work it back through. So to install our vapor canister purge solenoid valve. We're gonna start off by putting our bracket back on. If you've taken your bracket off with the valve, now's the time to install your new valve onto your bracket. And it's just simply gonna push back in through the bottom to the top. You wanna make sure it comes all the way out the top side here and it meets in the bottom flush. Sometimes if you can't get this to happen now, we can finish it off while it's in, bolt it into the vehicle. But we're gonna try and get it through now. There we go. All right, from here, we're gonna connect our two hoses You're just gonna push them onto the barb and seat them all the way in. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our bolt back in the back. And it's a 12 millimeter bolt. Now we can take our electrical connector, plug that back in. And 
And now we can put our hose clamps back in place. Now at this point, your valve should be done. You can now move on to reinstalling your intake tube and your intake box. But for us, we removed this hose to give you a little bit more visual access. So we'll reinstall that hose now. Now we can install our throttle body to our intake box tube. We're going to look for on the back side, on the box side, is this notch is going to match up to a notch in the back here. And the throttle body. Make sure your throttle body is clean where your tube is going to sit. Same thing back here. You want to make sure that flange is nice and clean. And we can start with our throttle body side. I'm going to lower the hose down to our throttle body and push that into place and then rotate the tube backwards to meet, to meet the intake box. We can press the two together. Making sure our notch lines up and then we have our hose. It will slide back onto the tube. And we'll need to move our hose clamp back into position. Have a long pair of needle nose. And with our tube lined up and in place, we're going to double check on our throttle body side that everything lines up and we're fully seated. Everything looks good. With our 10 mil socket, we'll go ahead and tighten down our hose clamp on the bottom first. I'll just give that a wiggle, make sure it's snug. And then we'll do the same on the top. And now we can lower our engine cover back into place. We're going to line up the hole with our oil fill. And give it a few good taps each corner. It'll lift it up. Make sure you're in place. It doesn't want to come out. So now we can lower our battery into position. Before we do that, I just want to take note, there is a lip here at the back that the lip at the bottom of your battery will sit into. That's going to lock in place the back of your battery. And you'll know you're as far back as you can go when you go to put this clamp on the front and it goes into place right here. If it'll sit up on top and won't go all the way in, you know your battery has to go further back. In our case, we're good. We can thread our bolt in place. And again with a 12 millimeter socket, we'll tighten that down.
Now from here, we can connect our negative terminal. Just press this down onto the terminal and press it, seat it all the way down. And our 10 mil socket. Just tighten that down. Make sure it doesn't rotate or spin. Looks good. And now with our positive terminal, it's gonna be a little bit more of a fight. Should be pretty easy. What we're gonna do is take the entire plastic assembly here, and just slide it up and over onto the post. And then we can open up our cap. We can push down, make sure that we are fully seated on that positive post. And then we can take our 10 millimeter socket and tighten this down. And again, we're not looking to over tighten, we're just looking to stop the rotation. And we're good, once you're good, you can go ahead and close up that cap. Now we can install our intake into our intake box. We're gonna press this gasket into place into our intake box and then rotate this downwards into place. So first thing we're gonna line it up and push it into the intake box. And now the front here should just drop down into place for your three clips. And these are just gonna be push in place clips. Do one, two and three. And you're done. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.